Welcome everybody, New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, you can join us. Amen. It's worth the walk. It's worth the hearing. <laughs> Amen. So come on, be with us. Amen. Where we honor, we we honor God. We love families. We serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. He's got something for you. Be expecting it, you know, just like on Christmas, just like on, on your birthday. You're expecting a gift. Well, guess what? He's there for you. Amen. Be excited to receive what God has for you. He's got something for you. He's got great plans for you. None of them yeah. include their feet. So yeah. let's remember this. Today we're going to be talking about attitude adjustment oh, boy. number two. Amen. <laughs> We all need attitude adjustments. You know, if you're not confessing the word of God, if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you know, the battlefield is the mind. And you're going to get all kinds of attitudes. Oh, yeah. All kinds of distractions, mm -hmm. you know. So you've got to stay focused mm -hmm. on the things of God. So you need to go in there and say, wait a minute. The Bible says, renew my mind with the word yeah. of God, you know, yeah. and I'm going to adjust this attitude. I'm going to have an attitude adjustment. Amen. I'm going to adjust my attitude to be focused on him. Yes. Amen. Because I could be focused on anything else. Hey, you know what? Yesterday, college uh, football started. So, <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, the market lights is going on. <laughs> so, you know what? All kind of distractions are coming all the time. And if, if you're not focused on the things of God, renewing your mind to the Word of God, you know, you're going to start. The world is just going to have you lost. Amen. Say, wait a minute. I gotta, I, y'all gotta change my priorities, and I gotta make an adjustment. Amen. I gotta make an adjustment. Uh -huh. And each and every one of us, we gotta have that attitude adjustment. <laughs> Amen. So that we can be focused on the things of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So prepare yourselves. Yes. God's not finished with you. He's got great plans on for you. Yes. None of them include the feet. We just gotta make ourselves available. Amen. So praise God. Know that you can do all things through Christ. And know that greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Hey Amen. To see yourself. This is a good attitude adjustment. I'm a winner. I'm a win. I'm a champion. Yes. I'm an overcomer. Hey Amen. And we're gonna yeah. see some more of those in a few minutes. Hey Amen. Uh -huh. So praise God. Before I get over excited, <laughs> <laughs> grab your sword, praise soldier of God, and said, let's make this a, a declaration together. Hey Amen. Yes. This is my Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Yes, there's all kinds of distractions, you know. And that's why it's so important that you stay focused. Amen. That you stay focused and catch and have a, uh, an attitude adjustment. Amen. There we go. Have an attitude adjustment. Let's keep going, Carmen. We got a few. Well, how do you know you need an attitude adjustment? Well, it's yeah. time for an attitude adjustment when you see something like this. Yeah. yeah. We're, cry we're crying to the world. We're crying to this. We're crying for that. You know what? If, if you're a child of God, <laughs> you don't go to the world and ask for advice. Oh, gosh. Amen. You go to the Word mm -hmm. or you go to a believer yeah. and you find out what God wants you to do. But you don't, you don't just go pour yourself out to anybody because they can tell you anything and they're going to tell you what to do. Oh, you need another shot of tequila. A tequila. <laughs> you, need to, you need to go smoke yourself another joint, you know. You need to go, you know what? <laughs> if you want to get high, the best high you can have is the most high. Amen. Jesus. That's yeah. the best how you can have. Keep going. Man, she's having an attitude. <laughs> Give yourself what? Attitude. Give yourself an attitude adjustment. That's it. I got to tell myself, you know, you see yourself in the mirror and you say, hey, you need an attitude adjustment. Huh. Amen. Yeah. Before you go into the world, mm -hmm. man, I'm going to tell them something. Well, if you're going to tell them something, tell them what the Word of God says. Let them know they're winners. They're champions. They're, you know. They're, 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 God loves them, you know, be kind to them, you know, Woo, hallelujah, Amen. but you need to have an attitude adjustment, mm -hmm. you either have a frown on your face, or you have a smile on your that's face, it, amen, it. I'll tell you what, a smile is going to attract more people mm -hmm. than a frown, because you see a frown, nobody going to be close to you, 
They just want to walk away from you. But you need to give yourself an attitude adjustment before you want to go share Jesus. Mm -hmm. They see a frown on your face. Nobody going to come want to come no, out around no, you. No. Praise God. They see, man, they're smiling. Something good about that. What is so good about you? Jesus. That's it. You know, praise yes. God. Keep going. Man, Amen. this is just good. Help me, Lord. I need an attitude adjustment. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, a lot of times he's telling us, but we're not listening. Yeah. He said, get an attitude adjustment before you go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're not really, you represented me. Yeah. Now, child of God, you know, you're the closest thing to a Bible some people will read. That's it. You'll be the closest thing to a Bible some people will be around. Yeah. So let's remember this. You're the closest thing to Jesus mm -hmm. some people will be around. They see you. Amen. And if you got a bad attitude, guess what? You call yourself a Christian? Oh, my God. I don't want even want to come close to you or be around you, you know? Let's 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 remember this. Keep going, honey. This is good. The greatest attitude to have, I was, is have a gratitude. Mm -hmm. You know what? Before you go anywhere, I'm just say, <laughs> the best attitude to have is say, thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this new day. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And you know, I'm going to go out and be the best child of God I can be. I'm going to be the best thing to Jesus out there people be around you know and say the best things and nice things kind things you know Ooh. say kind things when was the last time you said something kind to somebody mm. besides get out of my way mm. <laughs> are you too slow are you this or you that hallelujah say the right thing say good things amen mm. thank you lord keep going yeah. says your out your attitude and, and not your aptitude will determine your altitude mm -hmm. amen Woo, hallelujah. Higher low. We're going to get into a few more of those. I've got a couple of scripture uh, nuggets that I want to read at you. Amen. So praise God. The first one is this. Spiritual power. You got to speak it, confess it, show it, and do it. Be hearers and doers of the word of God. Amen. And it goes like this. Begin to release. Begin to speak. Begin to confess. Begin to show. Begin to be doers. Of the spiritual power of the fruit, a powerful fruit of the spirit God has placed in you. Love is so powerful, it will never fail. Patience is so powerful, it cannot be stopped. Temperance is so powerful, it can master all the unruly desires of your flesh. The fruit of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit are not weak. They are strong. They are living, it says, you are living in dangerous days. There's only one way that can be victorious, that you can be victorious. Release the force that dwells in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Demons and hell cannot stop you. That's it. Nothing can stop you except yourself. When you want to live a defeated life, he didn't put you here to, to lose. He put you here to win. Amen. And walk as winners and be winners and champions for him. See yourself the way he sees you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not the way the world says. Not the way the world disqualifies you. But be what the Word of God says you are. You're an original. You're not a copy of anything. He didn't make you here to be copies. He made you here to be the original person that he made you to be. And fulfill the mission that he set you on. And he put you on this mission to win, not to lose. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. It's only one of them. The next one is this. <laughs> if you're going to be somebody, be yourself. <laughs> Be yourself and do not and not be conformed to the ways of the world. The world wants you to copy the ways of the world. Uh -huh. More, yeah. We are to copy what the Word of God says and be hearers and doers of what the Word of God <laughs> says. Be yourself. Do not conform to the ways of the world. Does not matter what people think. God made you who you are for a reason. Be yes. the original he made you to be. Original is more than a copy. Yes, be yes. a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. See yourself the way God sees you. Amen. Called, anointed, qualified, and equipped. He doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Yes. Be yourself. Be the original. And not only that, be available. You know what? He's not finished with you. But you got to make yourself available. Lord, here I am. When, who am I going to send? Said, Lord, here I am. I'm available. Send me. Amen. Whatever he's sent you, whatever, whatever he's called you to do, he's already equipped you. He's already anointed you. And the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So why are you holding yourself back? Why are you still in defeat? 
Why are you still in fear? He said, I haven't given you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. You know what the enemy understands? He understands the word. You have the word in you, but you got to speak it out. Amen. You got to speak it out. And when you speak it out, you know what? It's going to accomplish what God sent it out to do. But most important of all, he says, when you speak the word, you're taking authority. And he says, enemies got to flee. Submit yourself to God. Resist him. Confess the word. Take authority. And he says, he's got to flee. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power love and a sound mind. So be yourself. Don't try to be like somebody else. Well, if I could just be like them. Well, he no. didn't make you that way. You know, he talks about the body of Christ. He, and, and he talks about a physical body. This physical body has many parts. And every part has a different function to it. That's it. it doesn't copy. It has a function. Yes. And you know what? He's called every one of us on a mission. And we have our part to play. That's it. But we have to be participators and be involved and do. Amen. We don't have to copy. We just be big or small, complete whatever mission God has given us. That's it. The Bible says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. I'm a can you can tell yourself this. I'm a can do person. Yes. I'm a child of God. I can do yes. all things through all Christ who strengthens me. See yourself that way. You know, every part of this body functions mm -hmm. in perfection. Every part of this body functions uh, has a mission. Mm -hmm. And it all every part operates in unity. And we in the body of Christ, we need to function yeah. in unity. Amen. And know there's a part for each and every one of us. We don't have to step over anybody, mm -hmm. try to take somebody out, you know. There's there's room for all of us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you there. So somebody need to hear this. Yeah. Amen. So I don't know why you're still sitting. There's a lot of things we still need to do. Amen. Yeah. There's a lot of things to do. Big or small, it doesn't matter. That's not the important part, the important part is for you to be participating, yes. for you to be involved, yeah. amen, not to sit back and say, well, I'm too young, I'm too old, no. I'm just middle-aged, it doesn't <laughs> matter, I'm too short, I'm too tall, I, I mean, no. you know, I'm whatever, mm -hmm. quit labeling yourself, That's it. call yourself, you're a child of God and you can do all things through Christ, yeah. amen, whatever he wants you to do, big or small, doesn't matter. If you're doing it under him, he's pleased and you're going to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're going to bless somebody through him. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Attitude. <laughs> We're going to be talking about attitude. Attitude yeah. is your choice. Yeah. Attitude is your choice. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to get in the right attitude before I go anywhere for God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I got to, you got to, you got to, you got to have the right attitude. You know what? If I'm being paid, well, I don't know if I want to say this. <laughs> Whatever job I'm being paid to do, yeah. I need to be responsible yes. to do what they're paying me to do. That's right. And you That's know right. what? I'm going to have some people skills where I say, you know what? I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for people. So yes. I'm going to have a better attitude in greeting good. people and saying yeah. thank you for coming. Yeah. So good to see you. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of having to say, you know what? <laughs> You're bugging me. <laughs> Get away from me. You know, <laughs> they're paying you to do your job. Yeah. You know what your job responsibilities are. That's Too it. many don't know what their job responsibilities are. First of all, be on time. Oh, Amen. Right. Just a child of God. Be be on time. Be available. Make yourself available. And greet people and love on people. You know, they're hurting as bad as you are. Mm -hmm. But still, I'm going to be strong in Him. Yeah. And let Him show through me. And I'm yeah. going to speak it. And I'm going to show it. That's Amen. Be a hearer and doer of the word of God. Mm -hmm. Attitude is a decision of your will. Attitude is more than uh, more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, mm -hmm. than, than failures, than success, than what uh, other people think or say about you. It. It's more important than appearance, uh, giftness, or skills. It will make or break a company. See that? It'll make or break yeah. a company. It'll yeah. make or break a church, a home. <laughs> the remarkable thing is we have a choice each day regarding the attitude we embrace for that day. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. You know what? Are you a child of God? Thank you, Lord. I'm 
this is the day you have given me. I'm going to rejoice and be glad right. in it. And you know yeah. what? I'm going to be contagious. I'm just going to, I just want to share it. Mm -hmm. I want to rejoice and be glad and let them know when they see the good, the, the, the enthusiasm, when they see yeah. the excitement in me, they want to know what is so good about this day. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has given me and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in yeah. it. And you should do the same thing. That's it. Amen. We're not here to be just doom and gloom and die, you know. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> Listen, it's more important than appearance, well, excuse me, it'll break, uh, break a company, a church, a home. Mm -hmm. Amen. The remarkable thing is we have a choice each day regarding the attitude we embrace for that day. Mm -hmm. You need to embrace the godly attitude, the godly life. Amen. Rejoice and be glad in each and every day every the day. Lord gives us. Attitude is an altitude, a high or a low, a positive or a negative, a right or a wrong, win or lose. Right attitude gives the power over the circumstances yes. wrong attitude is like a flat tire you can't go anywhere until you change it attitude will determine how far you go cast all cares on him and cast all the wrong attitudes on him amen give it to him he says give it to me mm -hmm. the why are you why are you still holding on to him? have the right attitude have a god attitude mm -hmm. amen Woo, hallelujah Praise thank god. you lord he says first peter 5 7 Casting all care on him because he cares about you. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go out and fulfill your mission for him, he wants you to have the right attitude. Yes. Amen. Have an attitude adjustment before you leave home. <laughs> Don't walk out with the wrong attitude. Walk out with bad attitude. There's enough rage in the world. You know, mm -hmm. we don't need to join that. That's it. Amen. Don't let the world bring you into their rage. Mm -hmm. You bring them into your peace. peace. Amen. Amen. Ooh, come on now. God. You have a choice and get your Jesus joy uh, joy, and get your Jesus <laughs> attitude. Adjust yeah. your attitude before you yes. hit the world. Amen. Woo. I'll tell you what, David had a good attitude when he saw yes. uh, the giant, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, before you go out into the world and see those giants waiting on you, mm -hmm. you have an attitude adjustment. Say, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not going to look at them in defeat. I'm going to look at him and say, man, greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. Amen. Amen. I'm going to adjust my attitude before yes. I face the world. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Woo. Come on. Praise the God. only difference between a good attitude, a good and a bad day is what? Your attitude. Your attitude. Man, you're already yeah. confessing defeat. Only time we ever say anything positive is on Friday. <laughs> hey, thank God it's Friday because the weekend's here. Keep going. <laughs> Excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. Amen. Let's remember this. Serve him in excellence. Amen. And have an attitude of excellence when you serve him. But not only that, you're going to serve his people. Remember? For God so loved the world. For God so loved people that what? He sacrifices only to God's son. Amen. So, you know, regardless of where you go, there's always going to be people there okay so let's remember this amen Woo, hallelujah thank you lord keep going these are good attitude is everything <laughs> good or bad is going to make everything so why not have a good attitude have the right attitude okay so attitude just a few things to go over attitude is your choice your responsibility the attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference victorious life the victorious life enjoyed by Jesus, the apostles, and all our Bible heroes we read about is available to every believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know what their you know what, what their attitude was, the victorious life was? Having a winning attitude. Yes. Jesus didn't come here to win. I mean to lose. He came here to win. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was his attitude. Yes. Amen. That's because he went through the same uh people that you went through. Negative people. Negative people. Uh, dream busters you know mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean he went through all kinds of things but you know what he overcame those things yes, he did. and we can do the same thing and still have a winning attitude even when he was at the cross he was beaten for doing nothing wrong but he was beaten and put stripes on his back you know and he was stabbed or pierced on the side and still his attitude 
he had an attitude adjustment and he says father forgive them mm -hmm. amen they don't know what to do he fulfilled his mission so can we yeah. amen we can have the same attitude you know people are going to spit at you they're going to say negative things about you mm -hmm. and you know what when you have your Jesus glasses on, when you have your Jesus attitude on, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. You just let it go. Just let it wash off, you know? Yes. Amen. Because the greater one is him. Amen. And you know better. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Attitude adjustments is a major part of having a victorious life. Amen. So have a winning attitude. Have it says gratitude is the best attitude to have. Yes. You know what gratitude means? All you need to do, if you don't know what else to say, all you need to do is just raise your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. I just want to be grateful for blessing me, for being here, you know, to do for you. Uh, we talked about a, uh, attitude indicator. Every aircraft has an attitude <laughs> indicator. And the pilot reads it. And it, it tells the pilot, the horizon is yes. your level. And... Yes. You're either ascending or descending. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing. But so so do we. We have an attitude indicator. You know, before you step out, <laughs> you see yourself. Am I ascending or am I descending? Man, I'm already confessing all the negative things I can mm. confess. You're gonna have you're gonna crash. Mm. You're gonna you're gonna have a crash, you know, because you're confessing the wrong things. Mm -hmm. You know, well before I go out, you know. I want my my attitude indicator to show I'm ascending. I'm 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 soaring high. The Bible says, with, as eagles, I'm soaring with eagles, yeah. and not scratching with chickens or wallowing in the in the mud with the that's pigs. Good. You know, that's, good. Yeah. that's not his problem. That's my problem mm -hmm. because of what I'm thinking. What's my attitude? Mm -hmm. My attitude is not his. My attitude is mine, mm -hmm. and I'm going to confess what the Word of God says, yeah. so that I can get my attitude adjustment. Mm -hmm. My attitude adjusted so that I can confess and soar high. Okay? Even the level, average, the average is not good enough. Mm -hmm. I got to get above average. Mm -hmm. He didn't put us here to be yeah, average. Yeah, he, yeah. Called, he called us here to be above more average. Than more yes. than enough. Yes. Amen? So let's remember that. Every person has an attitude indicator. And it's an important instrument in your life. Attitude <laughs> and life. <laughs> You are the pilot in control of this indicator. Your indicator determines your altitude in life. Are you ascending or are you descending? Are you going, are you climbing high or are you going down? Ascending high or descending low is your choice. Ascending high, soaring with eagles and soaring with the most high God. You can have a good attitude, a winning attitude, a positive attitude, or you can descend and be low and in the pig, with the pigs, with the world. Yeah. And you can have a bad attitude, wrong attitude, or a negative attitude. The thing about it is, it's your choice. Yeah. And you can't blame it on nobody else. You can't blame it on God. That's it. Jesus showed us our greatest example. He says, Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have had a bad attitude and just say, you know what, just wipe them out. <laughs> and you know what, Father would obey. But he says, forgive me. Mm -hmm. I want to fulfill my my mission. Yeah. He said, I want to fulfill my mission in with a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. I want to fulfill my mission with the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not. I'm not giving in. That's I'm not good. giving in to the enemy. I'm not giving in to the world. I'm not giving in to the negative people. That's good. He's going to fulfill. His mission by saying, Father, forgive him. Yes. <laughs> you know what he's thinking? But he says, <laughs> you know what came out of his mouth? <laughs> was forgive him. Mm. And they were forgiven. And he's forgiven you. Yes. You've been in the wrong. And, mm -hmm. But you know what? He says, if you confess, mm -hmm. some of you watching, some of you listen, mm -hmm. you need this now. <laughs> You've been in the wrong. All you need to do is say, Lord, Father, I need you. I confess. All my sins, mm. I've done you wrong. I've sinned against you. I confess my sins. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to forgive and forgive. Yes. And you yeah. need to do the same thing. Thank and then Lord. get off, lift yourself, get yourself off the ground, mm -hmm. get yourself off that negative attitude, yes. and start pressing and doing for him instead of just wallowing with the pigs, mm -hmm. wallowing with the world, you know? Mm -hmm. Say, no, 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 change. 
I didn't put you there to do that. I didn't put you there to lose. I put you there to win. Amen. And I put you there to be a participator. And I put a mission in you. I put a call on you. I put an anointing on you. So when are you going to get up and do something? Mm -hmm. Are you going to wait till you get to see him? And then he's going to ask you, what did you do with the gifts I gave you? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with the call I gave you? Mm -hmm. You say, well, I was afraid. Well, I didn't give you a spirit of fear. That's it. You know, let's, let's get busy with for him now, you know, and fulfill what he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. You can do all things through him. All Amen. Things. Let the past go. Yes. Amen. Let, 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 let all the defeats. All the setbacks and all the negative things yes. go and stop doing for him. Amen. amen. Come Praise on now. That's good. I'm preaching better than you ain't men in me now. <laughs> it says climb or crash is your choice. It's not yes. his choice. It's your choice. He's mm -hmm. told us what to do. Yes. You know, if we do what he's told us to do, we're going to soar high with him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Not crash. Mm -hmm. Crash is not for the, ch the children of God. Amen. Yeah. Having a winning attitude, forgetting the past, the defeats, the setbacks. Know that today is a new day, mm -hmm. a new beginning. Amen. Yes. Psalms 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Man, I'm excited. Press on. Climb up high. Go up high, child of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Man, get yourself stirred up. Mm -hmm. Amen. You didn't say for somebody else to do it for you. Yes, you yes. stir yourself yes. up. Yes. Amen. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah, yes. man. A stew is good, man. But when you stir it all together, yes. <laughs> man, it's going to blend all together, man. It's going to be great. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you want to change attitude, start with a change in behavior. All right, man. Amen. Oh, my God. Man. Mm. Remember, child of God, you Sad. can do, you you can do all oh, things God. through Christ who strengthens Jesus. you. Quit listening to the world. Quit listening to the negative things. Mm -hmm. Amen. And start listening and start reading mm -hmm. what the Word of God says. You know, well, He never talks to me. Well, you know what? He's handed down the Bible from heaven. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you see, you know what this is? This is my Word. Open it up and read it. Open up, read it. I talk to you all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm knocking, but you're not opening up. It's time you open up and start yeah, reading yeah. what it says. Oh, my God. Amen. Get hungry for the word. Yes. And start reading the word. Winning attitude or losing attitude is your choice. Uh -huh. You know, a coach wants to develop a winning attitude in his team. Yes. How much more God wants all his children to be with, have a winning attitude. Mm -hmm. You know, I sacrificed my son. Jesus went and, and fulfilled his mission, you know, and he's a winner. And he wants us to be just like him. He wants us to be winners. Amen. In uh, Ephesians 5 and well, five, chapter 5, 1 and 2 in the Amplified, it talks about being imitators of Christ. Be imitators. Copy Him. It's okay. You know? But you know how you're going to find out what the Word of God Find out what the Word of God says and start living it. Start doing it. Start confessing it. Amen. When you do all these things, man, you're going to be a winner for Him. Amen. And then you mean, <laughs> He's our best coach. He's our winningest coach. And he's coaching us to have a winning attitude. Have an attitude adjustment. I didn't put you there to lose. I put you there to win. Amen. Woo. Here's a couple of attitude adjusters. <laughs> or it go, yeah, attitude adjustment setters. setters. What is a, a, an attitude adjuster setters? John 3.16. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. He gave his only begotten son. Woo. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. life. Amen. St. Corinthians 5, 17, he says, Hey, you're a new creature in Christ. The old is gone and new is in. You're a new creature in Christ. Forget about what the world says. Forget about what friends says. Forget about what the enemy says. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm going to press on and do the right things. Amen. I'm going to press on and do what God wants me to do. What the Word of God tells me to do. Amen. Woo. And Philippians 4, 4, 13 says what? I, Jose, can, can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me? Man, I need your strength, Lord. Get start. Confess the word. Get the word in you. And start speaking the word. Amen. And you know what? Keep yourself strong. Keep yourself full of the word. Don't let yourself run out. You know, nothing nothing is good if it's run out. You know, if you if you got an empty glass of water, it, it, it can't quench your thirst. If you got a, a car empty, no gas, <laughs> it can't take you anywhere, wherever you want to go. 
You know, as a child of God, you know, you can't go and share the word if you don't have no word coming out of you. That's it. You got to confess it. You can, you know, when you follow the word, all these other things are just going to mm -hmm. blow away from you. That's it. I say, wait a minute, renew your mind, renew your mind. Renew what? Your mind. With the word of God. Yes. So if you got the word in you, you're going to renew your mind. You're not going to receive defeat. You ain't going to see all these negative attitudes. You're going to stay positive. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. That's good. Uh, attitudes to avoid. Carmen, find it for me, please. Attitudes to avoid, child of God. <laughs> it, it's, it's only a few, okay? And we're not going to go through all the scriptures, but if you see them, copy them. It says, attitudes to avoid. Attitudes and behaviors we, can, we cannot afford to have as believers. Mm. I'm just going to go through them, you know. I'm not going to read all. I mean, uh, all the scriptures there, but it says an unteachable spirit. Oh boy! Well, you can't teach me anything, brother. Oh Jesus! I know it all. Okay, I well. I know it all. <laughs> you have an unteachable spirit. You need to get your attitude adjusted. And you need to mm -hmm. bow down to the high God. You know, <laughs> basically, we talked about this. Dethrone yes. yourself. Get yourself yeah. off the throne and yeah. put Jesus on the throne. Amen. Yeah. And let Him be your 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 God. King of kings, he's king of kings and lord of lords. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you need to have attitudes to avoid un unteachable spirit. Un uh, disrespectful to others. For God so loved the world. You know, for God so loved the world, that means rude people too. That means ungodly people too. Amen. So, disrespectful to others. Unsubmissive spirit. Despising of spiritual gifts mm -hmm. and the word. Woo. Envy, strive, and haughty spirits, hatred, oh boy. false witnesses, laziness. Woo, hallelujah! Oh get boy. off your kumusiyama and get busy for God. Amen. <laughs> laziness is not a godly thing. Amen. You know what? Jesus had opportunities too to just yes. sit and say, you know what? I'm not going to do anything. Laziness is not a, a, a good thing. Amen. <laughs> Pride, just having a prideful spirit, saying, well, you know, I know it all, so nobody can tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Quit being so prideful. Unforgiveness. Well, I'm not. I'm never gonna forgive you. Be careful what you say. Amen. Jesus went to the cross. He didn't do anything, mm -hmm. but he was sacrificed. Yes. And what did he tell the Father? Father, forgive me. Says I forgive him. Amen. So we need to not hold it against anybody. We're not here to judge. We're not here to be uh, uh, unforgiving. We're to forgive because he tells us to. He says. If you don't forgive, I won't forgive you. So yeah. that's how important it is. Amen. Uh, gossip, we're not church of the gossip. We're church of the gospel. <laughs> and we're to share the gospel, the good news, not the gossip, not the bad news. Amen. That's all you hear every day is the bad news. Yeah. Man, if you want to stay up with the latest gossip, you know, that's the bad stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just going to bring you down. Yes. And it's going to make you have all kinds of anxieties, all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. Because you're accepting the ways of the world. And not the godly ways. But where to be uh, gospel people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ministers of reconciliation, bringing people to Christ. Amen. Amen. Sharing the good news, the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. Favoritism. You know what? If you want to be favorite, just know this. You're God's favorite child. But so is everybody else. For God so loved the world. Amen. Quit trying to be favor, favor, favoritism. Forget attitudes to avoid. Fraud, uh, fraud and disobedience. Or, or is dishonesty. And impatience. Okay. So some attitudes. That's just some attitudes. That's not all of them. But there's some attitudes that we need to avoid. Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> Praise God. So don't let. Don't live a li uh, defeated life. Yes. Amen. Anymore. Get up, dust yourself off, and press on with the things of God. Amen. Amen. Woo. Put on Christ. If you're going to put on anything, you know, put on Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Knows who you are and who you are in Him. And know that you can live a victorious life. Amen. Praise God. In uh, Philippians, uh, Philippians 3, 13 and 14. This should be in there somewhere, Carmen. She said, I forget what is in the past and I try as hard as I can to reach the goal for before that's set before me. Mm -hmm. She says, I I keep running hard towards the finish line to get the prize that is mine because God has called me through Christ Jesus to live up there in heaven. 
Woo. We can climb higher. Heaven is my home. This is not our home. But you know what? He's put us here on a mission. And we're going to fulfill this mission. Keeping our attitude adjusted. And keeping our attitudes right. Keeping our attitude as a winner. And pressing on. Because heaven is our home. That's where we're headed. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not accepting defeat. <laughs> I can believe. I believe Jesus, Paul, Bible heroes, and they had a victorious life. And their victorious lifestyle was this, a winning attitude. Winning attitude. You right. can have a winning attitude regardless of circumstance, regardless of what's going on around you. You say, wait, hey, wait a minute. I'm going to dress myself with the Word of God. I'm going to live, be here, endure of the Word of God. Amen. Wanting to achieve, be a participator, be involved and not a spectator. Amen. We're not here to spectate. We're not just a sit back, you know, when you just sit back and spe spectate, you're just going to say, you know, what they're not doing, what's not going on, and being judged and checking things out, you know. That's not what we're called to do. Mm -hmm. Quit, give up, retreat, what's not in their vocabulary. That's it. Only press on. Press on with the things of God. Mm -hmm. They develop a hearts of champions. They develop a winning attitude, a positive attitude, a good attitude. Amen. Mm -hmm. I can't say it enough. First Peter 5, 7 again is casting all cares on him. And yes. the Amplified says, casting all cares, all anxieties, all worries, mm -hmm. and all concerns once and for all mm -hmm. on him. Amen. For he cares about you with the deepest affection yes. and watches over you very, very carefully. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you. <clears throat> I think uh, we talked about this, but it says, do you have a winning attitude? Mm -hmm. Only you can answer that. Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's time you put on a winning attitude, you know. Get in the Word and start living it and being here and doers of the Word of God. Amen. It says losing and defeat is for the enemy, not for believers. Romans 8, 17 says that we are joint heirs with Christ and we are winners. If you're on God's team, you're on God's winning team. Amen. So see yourself a winner. See yourself again. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We talked about this, so I'll say it. The man was created to be a winner. In first, excuse me, John Genesis uh, 1 Verse 26, New Life Version says this. Then God said, let us. And a lot of people have said, you know, I've never read, I've never seen the word Trinity in the Bible before. But in this verse right here, it says, God said, let us. He's talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. He says, let us. He's talking to the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us make men mm -hmm. like us in capital letters. Yes. And let him have head over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over everything that moves on the ground. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he put us here to win. Amen. God was put on earth to have dominion, to have authority. Mm -hmm. And all we need to do is confess the word. Amen. Man did not know what losing was until he separated himself from God. Through disobedience, through sin in the Garden of Eden, man was forced to accept failure as his lot in life, lowering himself lower to a lower position. Man accepted a position he was never meant to occupy mm -hmm. because he gave in to the That's sin. Good. Good. So we need an attitude adjustment. We need to have an attitude of gratitude. We need to have a uh, winning attitude. Yes. Because that's what Father put us here to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. To have that winning attitude. Romans 12 and 2 again says in the easy to read version. Don't change yourself to be like people of this world. But let God change you inside yes. with a new way of thinking. Amen. Renewing your mind. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants you to do. Yes. You will be able to know what is good mm -hmm. and pleasing to him. And what is perfect. Amen. Amen. So you know what he wants you to do? Again, the battlefield is, is the battlefield not. is the not. mind is the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And the enemy is going to use every thought, everything, every person that's on his side mm -hmm. to, to say things and yes. say negative things. Oh, 
in your mind you're going to think negative things yeah. things are going to pop up that you've already confessed to him and given to him but they're going to pop up now you need to take authority and make that adjustment and say wait a minute I've already confessed and he's forgiven and forgotten and I'm going to forget about it too remember what we said about earlier today we said the three D's remember the three D's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> first of all the first D is I don't accept it number two is I don't receive it and number three delete you know everybody has a delete on their phone everybody has a delete on the, on their computer and you know when you don't want it there you hit delete so the three d's people we need to know we need to know this the three d's what i don't accept i don't receive and delete amen so let's remember this when it pops up in your head say hey i don't receive it I don't, I don't, uh, excuse me, I don't accept, I don't receive, and I'm going to delete it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to entertain it, mm -hmm. let it go. And say, it's confessed, it's yes. forgotten, it's forgiven and forgotten. Yes. So why you are going. you still popping up? You yes. know what, the enemy is going to try everything possible to try oh, yeah. to use that battlefield, you know, of bringing things up, mm -hmm. back up, and say, that's a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Let it go. Hey, let it go. <laughs> Praise God, it's gone. Amen. So, <laughs> oh, praise God. This is good. This is good. So, we need to have an attitude of gratitude at all times. Amen. All times. Forget Amen. the past. Get rid of losing the attitudes. Get a new attitude. Get a winning attitude. Amen. Change. Quit the old ways of thinking. Stop using the same old um, mm. losing excuses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let him go. We don't have to use them anymore. Let them go. <laughs> Renew your mind with the Word of God. Yes. Romans 12 and 2. Base your thinking on the fact that Jesus has overcome the world. And we are overcomers through Him. Yes. John 16, says, I have told you these things so that you can have peace in me. In this world you have troubles. Yes. But be brave. I have defeated the world. So, I have defeated and overcome the world. If He's yes. done it, so can we. Yeah. Amen. So, Ooh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God's kingdom and Satan's uh, world operates on what? A sown seed. Yeah. A sown seed. Mm -hmm. Words are seeds. Mm -hmm. And you sow them. You plant them. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful what you confess. It's yeah. death and life. Yes. Right and wrong are in the power of the words. Yeah. So you got to be careful the seeds you're sowing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because they're going to grow. Watch your words. Don't be trapped by them. Amen. Mm -hmm. See yourself the way God sees you. A Amen. winner. Jesus had a winning attitude. So can we. So yes. There's great reason to have a winning attitude. God yes. has guaranteed our success. His yes. word says you are more than conquerors. You yes. can. We are overcomers. In him you can overcome any problems the world throws your way. God is greater than any mountain. God is greater than any problem. God is greater than any care. Any setbacks. Amen. And here's what we do. We magnify Him and not the problem. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you're going to talk about it, just say, thank you, Lord, that you have already overcome this. And greater is He to see me than He to see the world. Mm -hmm. Confess the word and not the problem. Magnify Him and not the problem. Amen. Yeah. So again, attitudes, not circumstances, make the difference for those who overcome tough situations. Yeah. Amen. Attitudes, not circumstances yes, make yes. a difference for those who overcome tough situations. The Bible says in Philippians 4.13, and I close with this, I can do all things yes. through, Christ through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. And Praise I'm going to confess what the Word of God says, but I need to get the Word of God in me. I got to stay hungry. I got to stay enthused. I got to stay on fire for Him. Yeah. I got to stay stirred up for Him. Amen. Because every day you go out into the world, you have opportunities, opportunities to make adjustments. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to make adjustments to be a child of God Amen. and confess the word of God. Amen. To be, again, be the closest thing to Christ. Mm -hmm. Some people be around. Yes. To read, be the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever read. Mm -hmm. Because people are watching. And people are, are watching uh, your words, your actions. Amen. Your attitude. So yeah. let's remember this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your precious word. Yes. Hallelujah.
Jesus has won the most important battle already. He's defeated Satan and he's given us the power to win in every situation. Now we are free to develop a winning attitude and run this race to win. Amen. He put you here to win so you can run this and fulfill your, your mission and win in Jesus' name. Amen. So submit yourself to him. Resist the devil and you are winners. Amen. Ooh, see yourself that way. Amen. You see yourself that way? Hallelujah. Did you get something? Amen. Some of you are watching. Those of you that are watching, those of you are listening, know that this is the day. This is the first month or the first day of uh, September. September. Amen. Yes. So don't put it off any longer. All you have to do is say this. <laughs> Lord, I'm tired of losing. Mm. I want to be a winner. Amen. I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. I confess that every sin to you. Is you've given it to him. You know what? You confess every sin. And he's going to come. And he's going to make you that champion that you need yes. to be. Amen. You just got to be obedient. Get the word of God in you. Start living the word. Start reading, obeying the yes. word of God. And Lord. start living for him. Get yourself around a Bible-based church where you can learn the word. Mm -hmm. And be around enthused, encourage uh, believers, you know. And go out and be that minister of reconciliation you want you to be. Amen. Quit living a defeated life. Amen. So remember that if you have sickness in your body, he didn't put you here to be sick. That's it. He says, by Jesus stripes, by Jesus stripes, I am well, I am healed. Yes. No malfunctions in my body. My body to function in the perfection God created it to function. Amen. Yes. So this sickness, I rebuke it. I command it to go in Jesus name. I don't receive it. I command it to leave in Jesus name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And it's time to give. <laughs> so you go to our Bible way, uh, website. It should be on your screen, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. And for Cash App, just go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you and we love you. And remember, you're a winner for God. Amen. Make all the adjustments that you need to make. Amen. Praise God. Amen.